Orchids with thin leaves are susceptible to uh, attack by mites. These uh, small, almost microscopic creatures mine the leaf surface and suck out the plant juices. You'll notice this Fred Clarkara, it's a member of the Catacetum family, looks fine when you look at it from this angle. The leaves are actually quite beautiful. The problem is that you need to watch the under surfaces of leaves because that's where mites like to go. And if we examine this plant, you'll see evidence of mite damage. Mites are most active when the temperatures are warm, humidity is very low, and it's dry. Uh, they'll cease their activity, the populations will drop if it becomes humid and wet. These don't look like active infestations anymore. Um, if you look closely, you'll see that the surface of the leaf looks like it's been sandpapered or silvered. That's the sign of mite attack. You'll also notice the black deposits. That's sooty mold. Sooty mold grows on the excrement of the insect or the mites. And whenever you see sooty mold on your plants, you should be looking for another insect or mite uh, attack because that's what it's growing on. Um, you can use a piece of paper towel, you can't see mites effectively, use a piece of paper towel, rub the surface of the leaf. If it's spider mites, that the material that comes off is red, it uh, looks like paprika. If it's two spotted false spider mite, it'll be brown or black. Um, you can control mites using a miticide. They are not insects, they do not respond to materials used to control insects. You want to read the labels to make certain that it's rated for use for mites.